That's what they're playing for. That is four million Danish kroner. That's about half a million euros. Well, Theo throws away 10-3. Here comes Elke for a raise. But again, his cards are somewhat immaterial here. He's on the button. It's his turn to raise. Magnus says no thank you. Richard Toth is chip leader at the table. He can afford to be speculative, especially with ace-jack of hearts. It's not particularly speculative, given the range of hands that Elke is raising with. Yeah, if anything, he should actually re-raise. That's what he's doing. How much? It's a re-raise of 71,000. And it's telling Elke, look, you were stealing, you tried, it didn't work, now throw those cards away. Well, that's the message he's trying to send, but Elkie's sending a message back. He says, no, 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 I really do have a hand. He's lying, but you're allowed to lie in poker. He said, I was on the button, but I happened to wake up with pocket eights or whatever it really was. Well, we've got a huge pot building here, and I can't see Richard Toff laying down this ace-jack, not four-handed. No, it would be difficult for him to fold here in that situation, unless he really does accept Elkie's claim. This is what good poker is all about. It's not 8-8 versus jack-queen. It's thinking about what your opponent thinks, thinking about what your opponent thinks you have. It is a beautiful series of calculations, and it's what makes this a wonderful game. Well, there's the call from Richard Toth. We're going to see a flop. And Elkie can't be happy about that. Is he going to give up now? He may have picked up a straight draw, but Richard Toth's got top pair, and he's checking it. Now he checks behind him. Now there's a spade flush on the board, and it's a over card to Toth's pair of jacks. That is a great bet from Elke. I don't care if it works or not. That's a great bet. Well, it hasn't worked because Richard Toth has called. He thinks his jack is still good. He's not going to give Elke credit for the queen or for the spades. More than a million in the pot. And the river card is a six. Oh, my God. It's the bingo card for Elke. He's made the straight. He started with a nothing hand, 5-7, and he's made a straight on the river. It looks like a complete blank to Toth. And Elkie's been betting all along. And now he's moved all in. It's the biggest pot of the tournament. It'll decide who's chip leader. This is going to be impossible for Top because if he tries to work backwards what Elkie's hand is, nothing makes sense. Now he's thinking Elkie did make the spade flush. That's... If he's going to give him credit for a real hand, he has to give him credit for the spade flush. Elkie knows when he goes into the tank like this, he doesn't have it spades. There is a man who is sitting with the calm confidence of a Christian holding four aces. A tough decision for Richard Toth. He says he calls. Well, he's made the call. The cards go on their back, and he sees the bad news. He was leading all the way until the river when Elke made that straight. Sickening defeat for Richard Toth. And Elke is the new chip leader at the table. More than 2.2 million in chips. when you're playing on the biggest ever final table in European poker history. Well, you think the pressure is getting to I think it would get to everyone at this table, maybe with exception of Marcel Lusk. No, Marcel is, is not in a good situation. No, I haven't given up. No, no. Do you want to look at it? <laughs> I don't really want to, Paul. He knows that Mark Cowan knows that he's going to stop the call with any man. He's got very few chips.
Well, that's exactly what he'll need to do. It's a raise to cover. Marcel Lusk. So Marcel Lusk is all in with a fire of pop. A part of this, he's got the snowman. I do hope they stand up. I really hope they stand up, Tom, because, because I'll be honest with you, Karen's made a really bad play here. Okay, the plot is fantastic so far for Marcel Lusk, who on the big blind is going to pocket eight. Well, the seven at this stage is no big deal whatsoever. Karam is not... Oh! oh, my word. A for Mark Karam. And an early victim. <laughs> and the final table is the most experienced player. The Dutch poker artist that is Marcel Lusk will not be European poker chair grand champion.